Hey there folks, welcome to day 77 of my year of solo board gaming, uh, considered by myself to be ill-advised and stupid. I don't know how the rest of you feel. Uh, I am currently in the middle of the Future is Bleak week. We're actually at the end of it, uh, and this is a second round of 51st State. Uh, playing this time instead of the new era cards, I'm playing with the Winter's cards uh, in the Master set. Uh, now, there is a, uh, a couple other alternatives that you can do for the solo game. There's a Borga alternative, a fan-made alternative on Board Game Geek that you can seek out. Uh, there is also a, uh, I guess, an expansion that it gives you more of an auto, uh, automata to go up against. Um, sorry, just checking something real quick. My phone is going to be making a little bit of noise here. Sorry about that. All right. And, uh, but I like playing the vanilla version. The vanilla version is a beat, beat your own score uh, version, um, but I like it. It's, it's fine. Uh, it's enjoyable to me, so that's that's what I go with. Uh, I did look at the Borga briefly, thought about trying to do it, and maybe if I do a like a fan made solo mode week, uh, I might go back to that uh, and see uh, and include that in there. Uh, but right now we've got the four factions that we're going to go with. Now we've played as the Merchant Guild uh, in the previous one, so we're not going to do that again. So we're going to have New York, we're going to have uh, Appalachian, and we're going to have Mutants. Now the the, the big difference is that the uh, a New York Guild is good at making connections and doing trades and stuff like that, whereas New York Mutants, uh, the Mutants is better at doing the raising. Uh, Appalachian is better at uh, re basically rebuilding and developing, uh, whereas the, the New York one is just kind of an all-around, like, you know, hey, we're, we're just, we're happy to raise you, we're happy to meet you, we're just, you know, just don't try to build anything there because it's already been built up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, one, two, three, four, five, six... And we're going to be Appalachians today. Okay. So we'll choose the yellow marker uh, as our little item on the score. And I know it's going to be difficult to see with the camera up there. And I don't think I remember to change it so that the focus won't go kablooey on us. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We'll put that there. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab... I think we'll do the reds uh, for the solo opponent. It doesn't really matter. Now the solo opponent, of course, automatically gets... Um, we'll pretty much get two VP every single turn, no matter what. Uh, and pretty likely they're going to get uh, an extra 2P for whatever raising they do, uh, if you have locations. Uh, so it, it is it can be a little tricky that way. Now, I saw one person say that as a strategy, you can just hold out. You can do all sorts of deals. You can build those up. Um, but then at the end of it, just, just go crazy with the building. Uh, and then you can, before they get to 25, and you can you have yourself a little palooza. Uh, and my feeling is that, yeah, you could probably do that, but I think that that's kind of not the spirit of the game. Uh, but, you know, it's just more, do I want to have fun with this, or do I want to be strategic? I don't really care about the ranking at the end of it. They give you a little ranking scale. Um, we'll see how we do. Okay, so the first thing that you do is you start off with six cards. This is going to be your starting hand, uh, as opposed to actually getting anything going here. So... We're gonna take a look. We've got, uh, let's see, Oilman Fortress, uh, The Hold, Assassin, Cistern, Excavator, and Craftsman Guild. Now we're gonna take four of these and we're going to uh, get rid of the other two. The Hold is really good in terms of, you can spend a lot on that to get a whole bunch of VP, but I kind of don't care. Uh, it's it's going to be difficult to actually get that much because I can't count on some of the other ones being buildable right away. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Assassin. I'm going to keep the Excavator. I'm going to keep the Craftsman Guild. Um, and then I think maybe I will keep the Hold for later. I don't think I want the Sistine Cistern. I don't want... Yeah, I think this is going to be... I think these two are the ones that are probably the least likely to be really beneficial to me. So these are going to be my starting cards. I'll keep these down here. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get the game started. Now, to start the game, you're going to deal out four cards. And you're going to pick one. Let's see, we've got Body Hunters. Uh, that's a new symbol, by the way, for me. Uh, the, uh, the little gas mask down there. Um... It is from the winter set. Spend one to choose up to three of your locations and remove all the goods and people from them. That's unpleasant. 
Uh, kind of want the camp to get extra people if I make a deal. I'm going to go with this one. And then for the remainder one, remaining, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Uh, it's going to take this. This is going to be an action, so we're going to put it over here on the right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take. I'm going to take small factory. Small factory might be beneficial. It's going to take uh, this. That is also going to be another action. So it's going to be difficult to raise uh, anything here. They're going to get one more thing, and that's going to be a production. So that actually might be good. Uh, and then we go ahead and flip over here. I don't think you can quite see them, so we're going to go ahead and pull these in right here so that you can see what we've got. This is the blue and the red. Uh, and now we get production. So production, your first round of production is going to be pretty minor. It's going to be a brick, another card, a gray token, and then people. Um, so not much to work with automatically. So I do want to go for... I think I want to go for two of the two of the blues right away. This is an instantaneous benefit, so I'm going to get two blues overall. It's going to take uh, now the they they always take a connection card. The solo solo opponent uh, or a virtual player always takes a connection card and gets two VP for every connection card they take. So technically, this game could be over in seven rounds if you let it get both of them every single time. Uh, I'm going to make this first which is probably a, no that's a bad idea because I don't want to necessarily get anything underway that quickly I think what I want to do is I want to get the assassin taken care of now that's going to take me one it's going to cost me one of those we're going to put that under deal we'll move this over so that it doesn't get mixed up with the deals and you get it right away so you don't have to wait till until anything else passes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then it's now going to try to attack. Even though there's nothing for it to attack, it's still going to try to attack. So it's going to attack. There's nothing for it to hit. So that's just going to be ignored. I can now do... I can now exchange this for two reds, except that's not really going to do me a whole lot of good. Um, I kind of want... One more. Actually, if I build something, yeah, that might not be the worst idea. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually tempt fate here. I'm going to go ahead and, and build this with my thingy. Uh, is that really what I want to do? That's not really what I want to do. That's definitely not what I want to do. Let's just go ahead and do a deal with this, uh, the hole. That's going to cost me my other blue. We're going to slide this under here. We're going to get a development out of it. And then it's going to try to attack again. And of course it misses because there's nothing for it to hit. Uh, then we're going to do an exchange, I think. We're going to go ahead and uh, we can exchange one card. I'm going to actually go ahead and build this. I'm going to build the camp, I think. And we're going to get three people put on it. That's a feature, so it goes right up here. And the reason I'm doing that is I think I can actually use that to my benefit. Uh, so yeah, it, it does one more attack. It misses. It does not get any attacks this round. Which is for the good. Uh, we'll go ahead and use two of those people to get a resource. So we'll get that. We will go ahead and do... We don't want that. We want that. We want that. All right, we're going to spend one of these and we have to discard a card. We're going to get rid of the excavator. As nice as the excavator is for giving us the bonus. Uh, we're going to gain two building things out of that. We're going to build a construction vehicles for our production so that we get one 
of these as a bonus. We have to give we had to give one up, so we're still at two. Uh, we're going to uh, let's see. So technically, what I should have done is I should have put this there. Um, that would have been a good thing. And I think as much as I would like to use this, do I have enough people? I'm going to go ahead and do two people to get one card. Now that I don't have to keep track of, fortunately. All right, so this is going to give me... Uh, it, what's What I'm struggling over is what to do with the small factory, because the small factory could be really helpful early on. But I think it probably is in my best bet interest to just hold on to it. So we're going to go ahead and build uh, two more places so that we have more targets for it to try to hit. But also we have, it's it's we're sort of spread out now a little bit. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do anything with these, unfortunately. We could try to do this to get uh, two blues, but I don't wanna do a deal with this. I actually wanna keep this uh, for the purposes of, uh, for, the, for the purposes of actually production, uh, for actual production purposes. So we're gonna get rid of those. And that is the end of the round, so now we'll go ahead and start again. Now we're going to draw four cards. Take a look at what we've got here. We've got Merc Outpost, Boiler Room. Uh, so Boiler Room is probably the best bet. Um, I actually kind of like that one as well, but I think I'm going to go Boiler Room. All right, now we're going to choose one, two, three, four, five, six. Gravity was strong with that one, so it's going to get production here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take, I think, the motel, and it's going to get the Merc Outpost as another action. And then it's going to get one more card that we'll draw. Uh, now, uh, we're going to go ahead and draw the reds and the blues. Oh, sorry, I should probably put that on here. Oh, that is that is tough to pass up. The Junk Train, which gives you three, uh, three negotiation things. Uh, but let's go ahead and do some production. We're going to get one brick one gun, three people. Uh, we're going to get one more brick. We're going to get one gray token. We're going to get one card. We have Oilman Fortress. We have one more brick. Uh, sorry, one more gray. And then a brick or a gear. And I think might take gear. I don't think it's going to make a difference. All right. So now I've got first turn. Now what I can do is I can actually try to target one of its locations, and I think that might be for the best. Uh, so I'm going to actually send two people off as much as I really want that deal uh, to kick in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this and get two reds out of it. It's going to go ahead and take the other one and move up two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and exchange this gun for two more reds. Again, I should be putting that on here to indicate that I've taken advantage of that particular action. It's now going to start its attack. Uh, it looks for uh, the gun. It hits the quarry, so it successfully raises that. It gets two more VP for that. Now at that point, oh, and actually that stays over like that. So now at this point, uh, it's technically they're still active until the end of the round, until their next turn. So I can still attack them. I will attack for four. Uh, I will attack using all four, and I'll go ahead and take out the city guards. Uh, so I take out the city guards. I do get two guns for that. I probably can't use them for anything, but I'll get them anyway. So now, But now it's my turn to do whatever I want. Uh, I will go ahead and do, uh, let's see, let's do production. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that for two. That's going to give me a building bonus of one got two people here. I can start to make some deals here. kind of want to make a deal for both of these, but I also don't have anything really as far as resources go. Now, the first thing I can do is I can use my development token to go ahead and do this on here. Now, I get one VP for doing that, so I'm finally on the board. Uh, this will give me a star for every, uh, every gear I produce, which means that probably would have been better as a deal, uh, so stupid me. Uh, I can now go out and what else can I do? I could take this and put this over an action if I had an action. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, 
I can do a deal. I'm gonna probably want to do a deal with this, which means I need a token. I need a gas token, so I'm gonna send two people out to go get a gas token. I'm gonna use the gas token to get two of these. We'll go ahead and do that as a deal. And again, these should be over more. I am struggling to get these under the cards. All right. And we get the bonus from the deal automatically. So now we've got another card, which we will definitely raise. Unfortunately, we can't get any more for as far as the raise goes. We could go ahead and do one to get two. Yeah, we could we could do one of these bricks and one of these cards to go ahead and get two grays, but I don't think it'll do me any good. I think at this point, there's nothing else I can do with what I've got. So I'm gonna put those to the side. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and lose our resources, which is unfortunate. And we're gonna start again. Four more cards. We have got a marketplace, a steel eagle. Uh, I like the steel eagle because I can raise that for two. I can also do a deal for it, so I'm taking that. Uh, it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And it takes the three, which is good because I kind of wanted this marketplace for the other one. And then. The fuel tank goes back to it. It's going to be part of the production. Gets one more. This is an action. And now we're going to flip these cards. We get. Uh, we can spend a gun to get three. Uh, all right. And these get tossed too. I'm sorry I didn't toss those out earlier. Let's do our production run. Uh, we're going to get one more card. We're going to get a brick. We're going to get a gun. We're going to get three people. We're going to get another brick. We're going to get a gray. We're going to get a card. We're going to get a gray. We're going to get one star for every uh, thing we produce during the production phase. So we'll take one of those so that we can get a star and move up to two. Uh, and finally, we're going to get two more people as far as the boiler room goes. So now we've got five people plus a bunch of other stuff. All right. So now uh, we're going to take our first turn, which will be to probably grab one of these. Now, I could theoretically grab the, uh, the, the thugs, which is going to give me three, which will potentially allow me to raise one of, their, uh, one of those locations, but I don't think that's going to be a good idea. I'm going to take the merchants for two. I'm going to try to do a deal this time around. All right. Because, uh, yeah, i got two things I want to do deals with. Uh, it's now going to take the other one and go up by two. <coughs> Uh, we're going to do, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> oh, I had to give up two. had to give up two to get that connection done. We're going to give up two more to get a tank. It's going to start its attack. It's looking for a match. It finds a match with the Craftsman Guild, so it raises that. So it's completed its attack. It goes up by two more. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to trade this tank in for two blues. We'll then do a deal to get one of these. Puts us up by two. We'll do a deal to get the other one of these. I probably should have a better surface for doing this, for doing gaming. This is this is a little ridiculous. My apologies. And that's another star that I get for the deal. These are now all gone. I can do some development, uh, which is good. Um, I kind of feel like there's no point in doing this. Uh, I don't really need the protection. Well, it's not a bad idea. I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, I wish I could do it as a deal. That's the thing. Let's do, uh, let's build this action, this marketplace first. Uh, that's going to go there. We're going to spend this and two resources. We get two stars for that. Oops, sorry, wrong one. So we go up there. Uh, and we're going to develop, I think, 
the other one. Is there any way at all that I can, first of all, let me take a look at what else I've got here. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I should do this. Do it in like the, do it like this. So I'm gonna do the brick there. I'm gonna trade in the gun to get two of these. And then I'm gonna raise my own location, which if you're raising your own location, it's the distance that's the cost. And if you're raising another person's location, it's the feature type of property that it is. So three for production, four for feature, five for actions. That was a mistake that I was making a lot in my first game. But we're gonna go ahead and raise this so that we can get two more stars. Plus we get another gun. Uh, I don't have much else that I can really do here, unfortunately. Um, I could try to put this action in place, uh, but I don't have enough to really build it. I could do this wire entanglement thing, either as a renovation or as a build. And I think my best bet is to do it as... I think my best bet is to do it as a build. Actually, I take that back. We're going to do this. We're going to spend one of these and discard one card. We're going to gain two of these, two grays, and we're going to build this Oilman Fortress as an action. So now that's in place. We're left with a gun left over. Can't use it. The rest of the resources get tossed back. Would have liked to have had another person to do this with, but that is the way it goes. All right, so now uh, we start the next round. <clears throat> Four more cards. Methane storage, which would be great if we actually needed uh, gas, which we kind of do actually. That might not be a bad thing to do. Same with this as a deal. Uh, Gunsmith, I'd rather actually act, have a deal as a deal. And huge machinery is kind of cool. Uh, that small factory, unfortunately, is going to be pretty useless at this point, since we no longer have production in that area. The refinery would be good to raise, so let's keep that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, unfortunately, it gets the methane storage, which probably would have, was a better thing for me to go for. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the huge machinery you know, we're going to take the gunsmith, we'll do that as a deal. Uh, action, this is going to be the last one here. Uh, it then gets one more card, it gets another feature. And we are going to go ahead and flip these. Okay, let's now do production. Uh, production is going to be two stars. Uh, we've got a card. We've got a brick. We've got a gun. We've got uh, three people. We've got another brick, got a gray, got a card. I could be doing this by like figuring out how much I need overall, but I'd rather do it this way because I feel like it works out a little bit better. All right, so first turn is gonna be, I'm gonna go for that junk train because it is three blues. <clears throat> it's gonna take the pink, so it's gonna go up by two. Uh, all right, so if I want to attack, I'd have to get some, some stuff in there now. That is not going to happen. I am going to go ahead and make a deal for this. And that costs me one of these, and it gets me one red in return. Its first attack is uh, on yellow and blue. So then if they are both uh, both like that, then you go for the blue, whichever one is the greater distance, actually. So this is a three, this is a one, so this gets completely raised. So I'm not going to be able to attack this turn, unfortunately. Uh, so that is means it goes up by two more. We need to get some points here. We, uh, we need to start generating some, some point stuff. Uh, we could develop this and get, uh, I think that's what, actually what we're going to do. I think we're going to do that. We can develop that. It's going to cost us uh, three developments, so we can't actually do that yet. 
No, this is uh, development, so I don't need to worry about grays. I just need a yellow, but I kind of need a yellow on top of everything else. Uh, so what can I do? What can I do? Um, I can send two people out to go get resources. So two people are going to go out. They're going to get this this yellow here. We're going to put this in place over this. It's going to cost me one of the yellow, plus I get to go up by one. I'm then going to spend a person and two of these to get three stars. One, two, three. So I'm just catching up a little bit here, uh, which is a little ridiculous that it's taking me this long to get up there. Uh, and then we can build the f refinery, which unfortunately is not... That's stupid. I should not do that now. I'm only going to get one star out of that. Uh, could raise some stuff. Yeah, I'm going to raise some stuff. I'm going to take that. I'm going to get two uh, reds out of it. I'm going to raise my own card here. That's going to give me three more guns. And more importantly, a star. Uh, what is that going to leave me with? I'm going to do... I guess I might as well... I might as well build it. Uh, it's it's kind of sucks that I'm building it. Because I, I have nothing really to benefit from on that. Uh, it's going to give me one star total. And that leaves me with uh, no cards, no people, and a bunch of guns and dealers. So that is unfortunate. So all of these are going to go back. We can go ahead and clear all this. A little frustrating, to say the least. I'm not doing a very good job this game. One, two, three, four. But then again, I never said I was a good game player, so just a masochistic one. Uh, I think I'm going to grab the church just to get that, uh, get the stars from that. One, two, three. It's going to take the four, which is a feature. So it'll go there. I'm going to go ahead and take this negotiator one because I think I kind of want that. Um, oh, actually, no. I want the gasoline cultist. That looks like a much better way to go. Uh, and then it's going to get the negotiator back. And then it draws one more card, gets the bioweaponry. Uh, we're going to flip these over. All right, and then we'll start production. So I'm going to get one red. I'm going to get two stars. Finally starting to catch up here. Uh, one card. I'm going to get one brick. I'm going to get one gun. Our actual regular production for our guild is going to be three plus one brick one gray, one more card, one more gray. Uh, still uh, not producing any gears, uh, so that was really just a stupid thing to do. Um, two of these. All right, we're now gonna deal, uh, we're now gonna start here. Uh, I could go for the punks. Kind of feel like if I go for the punks, that's probably my best bet, because I'm gonna have Two from that, five. I can actually take out one of his features. So let me do that. I'm going to take out this to get two of these and give up two people. It's going to take this, go up by two. Now I'm going to trade this to get two more reds. And it's going to draw a card to see what it attacks. It attacks anything with a gray or orange, a gray or arrow or yellow. So it can attack construction vehicles. That's the big one. Uh, can also attack small factories. One thing I keep forgetting to do is to take the... Uh, take the. So whenever a location of mine gets raised, I was supposed to take whatever's at the bottom here. Uh, so for example, on that one, I was supposed to get a brick. This one, I was supposed to get a brick. So that is something that I really should have been taking care of. Uh, so the question is, where does the tiebreaker go then? And the tiebreaker is an extensive thing. Um, The location with the most matching types is raised. That's the first tiebreaker. So in this case, it's construction vehicles. This gets raised. I get a gear out of it. Which unfortunately, is not during production, so that doesn't count. I still can attack back. So now I've got five of these. I want to take a look and see what it is I want out of all of these. Uh, kind of like the bullets uh, on this one. Plus, it's going to give me a card. Uh, that's a lot of bullets as well, so that's not as good. It's a lot of bullets plus a card, so it's one of these two, I think. Uh, let's put this on top. Let's put this on top. 
put the rest of these over here. That would take up all four, all five of my uh, things. I kind of like this one because this is just going to give me straight up two stars. And then leave me with four, leave me with one raise afterwards. And then this one, not so much. This is going to give me a bunch of bricks, which might be good. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about this one. Um, I'm going to raise this one for four. I'm going to go up. Uh, let's see. And I think it's supposed to go up by one if it gets that. So I think I forgot to count that earlier. So we'll go ahead and count that as for 21. Uh, so I get this. I get two stars uh, and plus a brick. And that goes away. All right. And so now it's my turn in full. I can start to just do things. Uh, I'm going to raise this old cinema by one. Uh, that's going to give me one star, plus it's going to give me another card. Uh, t -t -t what else? I can do a... I can't do much of anything else, unfortunately. I can do a deal. If I could get two, and I should have... I don't know why I always forget that. I'm going to go ahead and build the church for two. Because that's going to give me two stars. I'm now caught up, which is good. If I build the gasoline, uh, gasoline no. I can renovate here. Uh, I think actually I want to use two bricks and a person and oh, we should put this on here actually and that's gonna allow me to go up two more or three more and I think if we get this last one we're done I'm gonna discard one brick and one card yeah this is what I'm doing I am discarding this brick and this card so that I get two grays. I'm going to take my two grays. I'm going to build this as an action. I'm going to go ahead and send two people out to go get a tank of gas. Trade the tank of gas for two blues. And trade the two blues for two stars. And I am now, after, 20, after the 25 point, so I no longer have, we're no longer in the game. So that just gets tossed. There's nothing I can do with that. There's nothing I can do with this resource. And we're done. Now it's just time to tally it up. Uh, and we go by the number of locations. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight locations. That's going to bring me to 34, which is not great. Uh, and this has a lot of locations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it goes from 13 to 34. Tie game. Which, honestly, like I should be able to do better than that at. I'm not a very good game player. Uh, I'm not sure why I thought I was. But that's the way the game goes. And that's it. Um, yeah, I really could. I think you actually get something for resources as well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to... What additional points I could have gotten, but I, I did not do a very good job. I think along the way I, I could have done a much better job uh, if I'd been paying attention uh, and really trying, uh, really actually executing some strategy. But like I said, I just enjoy the fun of this game. I'm not too worried about the actual um, actually doing well at it. Uh, there is a universal edition, I guess, or an ultimate edition that's coming out that's going to have a lot of the expansions, including the uh, the solo variant, the Molokai or Moloch or something like that. Um, and again, there is a solo variant that uh, called the Borga variant uh, that is worth checking out. Uh, again, not really my cup of tea, uh, mostly because I haven't tried it. Uh, that's all. Uh, I'm sure if I tried it, I'd probably enjoy it. Uh, but that's it. I will see you for next week. Uh, next week, we are going to be doing a whole bunch of short games. Uh, I do need to focus on some other stuff in my life uh, right now. How did this get knocked out? I do not know why that keeps happening. Sorry about that. Uh, so do all the YouTube things. Click like, click subscribe, uh, click the bell icon for more notifications, and 
Uh, let me know if you've ever played this game and what you thought of it, um, and we'll take it from there. See you later. Uh, ciao.